Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series on the Pandas library in Python. So the question for today is, how do I rename columns in a Pandas data frame? All right, so uh, let's just jump right in. Uh, we're going to work with an example data set. We're going to use the uh, data set of UFO reports from 1930 to 2000. So let's import pandas. And then we're going to read in this uh, data set from a URL so you can follow along. And we're going to store the results as a data frame. So we'll say UFO equals pd.readcsv, because it's a comma separated value file. And we'll pass it a bitly URL short link, uh, bit.ly slash UFO reports. Okay, so let's run that. It'll just take a second while it downloads the file. And uh, we've now got a data frame called UFO. And let's look at the first five rows. And these are just uh, reports of UFO sightings. And uh, let's also look um, you know, this is a quick way to look at the column names, but if literally all you want to look at is the column names, you don't have to use the head method. You can just use the columns attribute of a data frame, which is automatic. So UFO dot columns, and it will say here is a list, looks like a list, it's actually an index object, but uh, it's a list of city colors reported, shape reported, state, and time, which are indeed the column names. So uh, to answer the question, how do I rename columns? Well, let's pretend that I want to rename the colors reported and shape reported uh, columns so that they do not have a space in either of them. OK, let's do that. We're going to use, there are a couple ways to do this, but we're going to use the rename uh, data frame method. So ufo.rename, and then you have to say columns equals, and then we pass the columns argument a dictionary. Okay, And it looks like this, color space reported colon colors underscore reported. Okay, so when I do the rename method, I say, and I use the columns argument, the dictionary I pass, its key is the old name, and the value after the colon is the new name, okay? And you can do multiple columns at once. So I'll say comma, shape space reported, colon, shape underscore reported. Okay, almost done there. We are going to add one more argument, which is in place equals true. And that just means I want this operation to occur in place. Uh, I want to affect the underlying data frame. So you run that, okay? And then we can check ufo.columns it did indeed work. So colors reported and shape reported were renamed. Okay, so that is one method for renaming columns. Let's pick out a different method, okay? And the use case here is, what if I wanna replace all of these column names? This ufo.rename would work just fine, but it seems like a lot of typing to specify the old name and the new name. What if I just wanna specify the new names and I'll just put them in order. You can do that. So here's a simpler way for that use case. What we're gonna do is create a Python list of strings UFO called UFO calls, okay? So it's a list, regular Python list, and we're just going to say, uh, and, and let's say we wanna make all of the original column names, use all the same ones, but make them all lowercase, okay? So I'm gonna say city, uh, colors reported with a space, okay? Shape reported with a space, uh, state, and time, okay? So that's my Python list, okay? 
Now, what do I do with it? Literally, I just say ufo.columns equals UFO calls. And that overwrites the columns attribute with those, um, uh, those five strings. So if I now look at, for instance, look at the head again, um, what we'll see is that I have overwritten all five of the column names, right? Um, looks good. Um, want to show you another method very similar to this, which is you can actually rename the columns while you are reading in the file, okay? So uh, just to save some typing, I'm just going to copy and paste this below, okay? Now, when I'm renaming, uh, when I'm reading in the file, here's what I can do to overwrite the um, uh, the column names. Two things. Uh, number one, I say names equals UFO calls. Okay, so I'm saying the column names I want to use are these. Is this Python list of five strings? Okay. I also need to say in this case I need to say header equals zero. What does that mean? Well, the document it's a little complicated how this header. Uh, argument works. But basically, if I say header equals zero, I'm saying the zeroth row, row zero of the underlying file has existing column names. And then I pass it new column names. Those will overwrite them. Okay. So the logic is a little tricky. Check out the documentation for read CSV or read table um, for more. Okay. But let's go ahead and run that. And if we do ufo.head, we will indeed see that also worked. Okay, so that's another method. Okay, I will always end these videos with a bonus tip. And here is the bonus tip. Okay, let's pretend you had 100 columns, not five, and all of them, or some of them at least, had spaces in them. Okay, and you wanted to replace all the spaces with underscores. You could use this dot rename method and change them, or you could use this method and overwrite the, the dot columns attribute. But though both of those seem like a lot of work and a lot of typing. Okay, so the bonus tip here is there is a different method. So what we're gonna say is UFO dot columns dot, and let's look at ufo.columns, okay? Here's what it is. We're gonna say ufo.columns equals ufo.columns dot stir, S-T-R, meaning I want a string method, dot replace, and we're gonna pass the replace method. We're gonna say, I wanna replace spaces with underscores. Okay, we run that, and now look at ufo.columns. Boom, exactly what we wanted. In one line of code, we replaced all the spaces with underscores. If it didn't have a space, it didn't get uh, affected, and this would work whether you're changing two column names or 2,000 column names, um, it will work. Okay, we'll talk more about string methods in another video, um, but uh, they're all hidden under this little uh, str. It's, you know, you can pick a series name dot str dot string method, okay? So uh, that is it for today. Thanks so much for joining me as always. If you wanna see more videos like this, please click subscribe and leave uh, a comment below. If you have a question about this video or a question about pandas in general, hopefully I will have a chance to uh, make a video about your uh, question, but if not, I will at least try to answer it in the comments, okay? So thanks so much and I will see you again soon.